hi guys welcome to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome to my little family and if you're returning sabi thank you so much for the support now i know it's been so long since i filmed a youtube video but i think i did mention in my last upload that i was actually in the process of moving which is taking me longer than expected simply because of the area that i'm looking at and also there's so many other factors that are contributing to me not finding a place and i think that would be a topic for another day uh, so basically i want to tap into home projects once I actually move but since there are delays in the process I thought why not you know just jump in now so that's what this video will be about I will be doing a designer book um, decor DIY and I want to say this I'm not the originator of these ideas I was so so happy when I saw tutorials on YouTube that you can actually um, create these at home because uh, I was this close I was literally this close into buying these books stores and we know how expensive they are i will put some prices of uh, the books that i will be creating on the sides uh, yeah i just hope you guys enjoy the video okay guys so this is where we'll begin so firstly i have some refuse bags on my disc so i don't make a mess and then yeah i will be using some of my old textbooks and then we have um, a tape over here this is the only tape that i have and then i got some brown cover because i don't want to paint on the original textbook cover so i'm going to cover the books in this brown cover and then paint on the brown cover and then over here we have some contact paper or what is it called wrapping paper in marble and then we have some scissors and i got painting brushes they were very very cheap um so i got these at um a diy um yeah we have another one over here i think i bought them at the same store um yeah so moving along i then got uh, some glue and i got this um acrylic matte vanish just to mattify the finish just in case the paint doesn't do a great job so here we have the mini pot um acrylic white uh, paint uh, it was very cheap as well and i got it in black too um and then i got <laughs> And then I got plastic cups, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use. So just in case the paint do not work out, I then got a spray paint. This is the V7 Expect Gold. And then I got an Appeal X in black. And then I got this white primer as well. Um, what is it? Spray matte. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what else did I get? I got some flowers at Mr. Price Home for 60, there were 60 bucks, 60 rands. Um, yeah, and I got this little, what you call, it's a vase. So it's a clear fish bulb vase for 60 rands as well. And then moving along to printouts, I printed a whole lot of different covers for Vogue. I didn't know what I was going to use in these ones with the only um, appealing ones on Google for me. Um, so yeah. And then I went on and I printed the Vogue logo, which I think is going to be <laughs> a bit huge for the book that I'm going to use. But we will see, guys. And then over here, we have some Tom Ford. And then we have a little size of Vogue, just in case, you know. And then we have Chanel over here. And then I printed the little book of Chanel as well, just in case. Um, if I don't like the other one, then I'll use this one. And then moving along, we have Tom Ford again, different sizes, of course. Um, and then we have these ones that I'm going to use on the sides of the books. And then we have Vogue again, yet another huge logo. <laughs> and then we have Tom Ford. So yeah that's it let us begin so what i want to do is i want to use the brown cover to test out how um the paint is gonna sit if i cover the books first and then do painting after and another thing that i want to check out is which brush is gonna do 
uh, a great job at this Okay, so after this, I want to check out how is the spray paint going to do on a brown cover as well. Okay. Oh my God, I just made a mess. What was I doing? What are you doing, child? What are you doing? <laughs> my God. okay guys now because this book is green i want to change the color of the pages on the side to white just because i will be using the white chanel logo so we want everything to just match perfectly um yeah let's go ahead and do that <music> had lost uh, footage I don't know what happened uh, along the whole painting um, process but I kind of used the paint first um, which I didn't like it had lines over the book it wasn't smooth so I went over and used that white primer instead and this is how it turned out so in this case we're going to do the same thing we did in our little book we're just painting the pages on the side in the color that we want the book to be in okay so i mainly got that um contact paper that marble contact paper uh to cover the middle book or the vogue book uh so let's hear what do they say about this um cover so it cleans with one wipe it's very easy to apply decorative stain resistant it's long lasting and it's actually easy to remove so and yeah, let's go ahead and cover that book <music> so this is my book all covered it looks really really pretty um yeah so now i'm gonna choose which um cover am i gonna use for the book and what logo am i gonna use on the side <music> Okay, I think this gold little Vogue logo will do perfectly on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Let's go ahead and cut everything so we can paste it there. Oh my God, look at that. I just ruined <laughs> my V. What is wrong with me? And I don't have other printouts because I don't have a printer at home. I printed all of these things at the office. And I just ruined my V. Wow.
actually made so much mess in painting this book um, okay so in this case I'm just trying to cover up the mess by painting the pages on the side with the white um, acrylic paint <laughs> So these are our books side by side. It's left of me to include the logos now. Um, they have little imperfections in them, but that's something we can fix. Uh, for example, as you can see in the corner of this little book, uh, the paint came off, but yeah, we'll handle it just now. Okay guys, so the logo that I'm going to use for this little book is the white logo simply because I already have a black book which is the Tom Ford. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap our book in that white paper. <music> so i removed that gold logo that i initially um, had on the side because it looked tacky i didn't like it so now i'm going to try out this big logo of vogue um i think it's gonna i think it's gonna fit um so let's go ahead and cut all the letters um individually and then we'll paste them there hopefully i will be happy with the outcome of this one <music>
I think I mentioned that some of my footage got lost. I don't know how. I'm not sure if I was in recording. I, I don't know, guys. So basically, I painted this big black book. I didn't paint it. I spray painted it. And I actually made a dumb move. I spray painted it on top of the original cover. Um, so yeah, guys. <laughs> I am regretting it so much. I should have used that um, a wrapping paper, that marble wrapping paper instead and then spray painted on top of it. But I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, so the basically the brown cover didn't work. So I decided to just spray paint the book. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm checking which size of the Tom Ford logo I'm going to go with. And then I'll go ahead and cut the letters and paste them one by one i'll trim them and then i'll paste them individually <music> of the decorated flowers that i got um this would be the last finish i just wanna you know add spice into the whole thing <music>
guys so we have came to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you'll get to try some of these tricks at home in saving money um yeah so don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video bye bye